take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Originally answered, can jump starting a car damage the alternator? Yes, if the battery jumper cables are hooked up wrong. Red, plus, to red, plus, black, to black. Any other way can damage or destroy vehicle computers also. You should also always connect the red cables first, then the black cables. Take our lead. This usually happens either because the jumper cables are too short or because one or both vehicle's batteries are located in awkward locations in the engine compartment. Regardless, if you're unable to jump your friend's battery without touching your car to theirs, then you're going to risk killing your own battery. Take our lead. When the jumper cables are incorrectly connected, the polarity of the electrical system on the vehicle with the dead battery will be reversed for a few seconds. This can irreparably damage many of the sensitive electronic components that are common on today's vehicles, such as onboard computers and electronic sensors. Make your mark, take our lead. If only the starter is broken, the replacement cost is typically minimal. How much does an alternator cost depends on the type of vehicle. In some models, they can run as low as $180 and for premium vehicles, they can run over $1,000. The average cost is approximately $500. Take our lead. How long should I drive my car after a jump start? If your car does start, let it run for a few minutes to help charge the battery further. Unhook the clamps in the reverse order of how you put them on. Be sure to drive your car for about 30 minutes before stopping again so the battery can continue to charge. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.